Great Inks Warriors back with another episode of Bigger Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well on this Saturday uh, morning. I am going to do one video here to catch up with one. Uh, I have a break in a few minutes. I'm sitting in the car, so I'm going to go ahead and do one. Hope you guys are doing well, keeping up the battle. Again, the conquest every day is important. And the more you conquest, the more you're controlling yourself, the more things you're conquesting and working around the society and getting things done and accepting goals and getting those goals accomplished. So keep on your purpose, keep on those goals, and I uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend and keep enjoying it. All right, so a couple things uh, real fast, a couple people I want to shout out to. Arjun, uh, 10 months, good job, keep it up, my friend. And Money Man J 2515 asked me about the uh, favorite fountain of youth exercise. And you know, it's interesting. Um, that was a, that's a very interesting question as we go through it. I guess my favorite one really is the spinning because I had my daughter was in ballet for 18 years growing up. And um, I saw the ballet and I saw lots of younger people who were in ballet, especially as they were older, they still stayed pretty young. And a lot of it I did not realize it went to the chakras, especially with the, the spinning one. So that's really my favorite one. So thank you for the question. And I will put a bunch of shout outs in the descriptions as we go through. So please don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment, like. It's always greatly appreciated to get us to, to more and more people getting interested in, um, in this topic and trying to kind of navigate their own uh, self-discipline, self-control, and those things. So this question comes from uh, Big Timon. So Big Timon, thank you for the shout out. This is the talking about eye contact and uh, seam retention. So I always enjoy talking about eye contact because as a communication person and person who's taught communications for many, many years, I really enjoy talking about the nonverbal communication part of it. A lot of people are not as aware of that, but if you don't are aware of it, 90 some percent, 92, 93 percent of communication is the nonverbal, which means we're not talking. It's how you're behaving and reacting. And so you can tell a lot about a person if you kind of observe and watch them carefully. And a lot of that is observing, you know, how they have. But in order to do that, you have to have good eye contact and confidence. And that's where seam retention comes into play. So there's two ends of this thing that you have to kind of keep an eye on. One is your eye contact yourself. When it comes to seam retention, because you're gaining more confidence, because you're keeping those nutrients inside of you, you now become a more confident, less anxious person. Things may be falling around, around you, but you're still very confident. You're not gonna lose your poise, you're not gonna go crazy, you're not gonna kinda you know, be a drama king, drama queen, things like that. You're going to go ahead and try to solve the problems as they come through. And society, you know, that's what society needs to happen. You can't just lose control all the time. And this is what a lot of beta males do. They're not really confident. And so you don't have eye contact. Every time you look at someone who doesn't have eye contact, a lot of times they can't maintain eye contact. They may look at you for a second and look away, look down. And some of that is normal. Some of that, you know, we're talking about people, if they look like I do once in a while, look, look and think about something, you're looking in a different direction. You're not actually, um, you know, that doesn't mean you're not confident. But if you're not able to maintain and establish eye contact with people, especially women, women can tell that. And they will look at you in a different way if you don't maintain an eye contact. So part of your attraction comes from your eyes. Now, why is that? Well, 90% of our emotion comes from the eyes. This is where your energy comes from, warriors. Your air energy comes from the eyes. People see that, and they see your energy. So when they look in your eyes and you look at them, they may have instant attraction. Women will be instantly attracted because they look at you and they sense this as a high-powered male, a masculine male, because of the way your eyes look back at them. You have confidence, you're not scared of them. In fact, you are the dominant species. This is why the lion is so effective. The lion's eye contact is probably unbelievable because they're not the biggest one in the forest. They're not the biggest one, you know, they're not the strongest one, but they have the most confidence, I believe, as any animal in that kingdom. And this is why people scare, they're, they're afraid of the lion because of that. 
And just like you can be, you're going to be that lion, that tiger that sits there and actually has that eye contact. So eye contact from that standpoint is very effective and very strong because you feel stronger about yourself. Now you're not afraid to interact with other people. When you're losing energy all the time, you're not 100%, my friends. And a warrior not 100% is going to feel less confident. And therefore, you're not going to have as much eye contact because you're trying to avoid people. Because now deep you know you're, you're not 100%. And you don't know why. And I didn't know why for a lot of years. But I realized I was losing energy. And now over the last, I'm at 949 days. So we'll probably do one tomorrow at 950. But 940 days of not releasing, all of a sudden now I realize the strength that you have and the confidence you have that is a constant, constant, no matter where you go. And you see it all the time. I saw it several times again yesterday at work, other places. Women just react to you differently. They'll come and sit next to you. They'll interact. They're, they'll be half flirtatious. They'll wink. All these things, which is crazy to me because after all these years, it didn't happen to me. Now, in my case, obviously, as I've said many times before, it's a flattering thing to me. Because I have really no interest in any kind of, you know, things like that. Because I'm married and family and kids and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't really, I'm not that interested in, in spending my time with those type of, you know, short-term pleasures. But I'm more interested in the process and the idea. And that's kind of why I share it with you guys. Now, from the other perspective, this is people become attracted to you because of your eye contact towards them. That's because you can kind of look at them and you can see who they are. And a lot of people, they don't get that daily. Most people don't look at them straight in the eye. And they always call that the eyes the window of the soul. So as you're sitting there looking at somebody, they're going to pay attention to you. You're also giving, especially in this case, a woman, a lot of attention. If you can directly look at them straight in the eye, now all of a sudden you're giving them massive attention. And attention, my friends, is like a drug they will lap that thing up like crazy. And you'll know this because if you don't give them attention, they go kind of crazy. They're looking and saying, what happened here? This is what's happening with the MGTOW movement. A lot of men are not giving attention to the women anymore. And the women are saying, what the heck happened here? Because all of a sudden, women you know, got into that movements and all kinds of stuff, and they kind of thought a little bit differently of themselves. And really... Men who are such great givers when it comes to attention and protection and money, all of a sudden decides not to give, well, then it's a whole different type of game. But it goes back to the attention. And that goes back to that eye contact and focusing on that person. So when we, when we, uh, when we talk about this thing, the idea is you're really focusing on trying to get that, that protection uh, provision, uh, providing all those things as a masculine male. But it comes back down to your retention, your self-control, your discipline. Those things then result in eye contact, focusing on strength that you have, and you see that, so you become more confident, and now you can look anybody in that, not only women, but anybody, and you become that type of thing. And then the other part of this is that basically they're now attracted to you because they see a person who's confident and part of it is the confidence level there's no doubt about that but the other part of it is that you're looking straight at them and when you look them straight in the eye it's almost like you see their soul you see who they are and that type of thing is very highly attractive and once again it's like that drug that and women especially love the attention they love the attention and so they get you the attention and you're giving them attention and this is how you can become a very uh, attractive, masculine male. By establishing eye contact and appropriate, obviously we're not talking about like creeper stalking type behaviors. We're talking about uh, a, a normal type of confident type of thing. However, to be able to do that, you also have to say, okay, this is not that important to me. You know, it's great that we have a conversation and we enjoy talking to each other. And maybe this will lead to something, maybe it won't. But you're moving on to the goals you're moving on to something else. And that also is something that person, the woman, picks up and they said, oh, okay, they're gonna miss this attention because you're not, you're one of the few people giving them time attention, you know, that uh, you're giving to them. So again, in summary, twofold things. 
eye contact is wonderful for you to have because it establishes relationships, builds your confidence, and I would practice all the time. If you're just starting your journey here, practice all the time. Practice with children because they're easy to look at. Practice eye contact. That will gain you a lot of confidence in the business world, in the romance world, anything you need to have, that's a key thing. The other thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna be highly attracted to you. Once again, you gotta make the decision. Is this something that I want? Or is it just a flattering thing and I wanna kinda of move on? In most cases, it should be a flattering thing you move on. Because it, unless you want to spend that person, have time with that person, part of your goals, those things, then I would not waste my time. I'd be moving on, you know, saying thank you, but it's time to go on. And that's the kind of way I would tend to look at this. All right, guys. So anyway, enough for today. Hope you guys uh, got something out of this one. And next time we'll talk about witnessing to others. Dr. Von Life's Investings had a good uh, quote about that. So we'll talk about how we can help other people you know, on this journey and uh, be a good role model for people as well. All right. Till next time, guys. We'll probably do one tomorrow maybe on this at 9.50 with our uh, uh, not releasing and trying to just kind of see what the benefits and what's happened over the 950 days. I'll probably do a little bit of summary uh, tomorrow. God bless you guys. Have a good day. And remember, every day is a new day to a wise warrior. And remember, guys, every day, keep battling on. Even if you release, go back and start again. God bless you guys. Battle